What's up guys, this is Andy here with Ultima Eye Device Vids, and today we're going to check out 5 recently released Cydia tweaks that are very powerful. So without further ado, let's jump right in. So first up, we have Live Ringing. This one's available for $1.99, and this essentially allows your device to play a video when you receive a phone call. So basically, you just assign the video from your camera roll. As you see here, I took a nice video of some flowers and plants around my house. So now whenever I receive a phone call, this essentially shows up. And you see how it restarts as soon as the video ends. And by the way, this does not affect the ringtone. Your normal ringtone will stay. It's just the actual visual part of the video. So the audio from the video will not play. And also, as you can see here, it works when the device is locked. So as you can see right here, it works the exact same way from the lock screen. So this is a feature that Android has had for a while, and it's really nice to see that it has now been brought to iOS. So to set this up, just go ahead and open up the settings app on your device. Then you're gonna scroll down until you do find the live ringing preferences and just go ahead and open that up. And in here, you have a few options to configure. So up at the top, you have the ability to enable or disable a tweak, and then you have choose video for unknown numbers and choose video for all contacts. So you can choose a different video for each of those things. As you see here, we have the ability to choose a video or clear a video uh, if you just want to, you know, basically remove a video from there. There's also a slider for the video blur intensity. Now, there's also an option to basically assign a certain video to a certain contact. To do that, just open up the contact app on your device and find a contact that you want to assign a video to, a specific video. Just select edit, then you'll see a new add video button under the add photo option, and that will just allow you to assign a video from your camera roll just like you can in the settings app. Unfortunately, you can't use the phone app to do this for whatever reason. You can't use the contact section of the phone app. So as you see here, there's just no add video button for whatever reason. So just remember to use the contact app. So it's a really cool tweak. And once again, it's available for $1.99. Next up, we have AS Blur. This tweak allows you to set certain applications to be blurred out when you're inside your app switcher. As you see here, the app store card is blurred out for me. So this is a security reason. Maybe you know certain applications have sensitive information. And you don't want people looking over your shoulders to get that. So essentially to set this up, just open up settings on your device and then open up the AS Blur preferences. And then you will have a list of all the apps on your device. Just find any app you want to blur out and toggle it on. So I'm just gonna go ahead and toggle on the settings app just to show you guys that the changes do apply, do apply immediately. So now settings is on and of course, whenever I open up my app switcher now, there you go, as you can see, the specific app that you selected will be blurred out. And once again, this one's called AS Blur. It's available in Cydia for free. Next up, we have Kairos. This one's available for $1.99, and it provides some really useful options for the Messages app. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open up the Messages app here and type out a message here, and I'm gonna tap and hold on the Send button, and this will reveal the options. So as you see here, we have Switch Service, which allows you to switch from an iMessage to a text message or vice versa. As you see there, I just switched it to text message, and the message and the little button turns green, and vice versa, it turns blue for iMessage. There are other tweaks that allow you to do this, but this tweak bakes that functionality in. There's also a schedule option. This is the real original aspect of this tweak. It essentially provides you with a pop-up that allows you to set a certain time in the future when a message will automatically send on its own. So maybe you know you're going to forget to send someone a message and you want to set it you know, ahead of time. So as you can see there, we could scroll months, days in advance, and of course, hours, etc. And I'm going to send a message to send at 319 because it's 318 right now, as you can see. And I just want to demonstrate to you guys how this works. So it's set to currently 319 today. And I'm just going to go ahead and set that to automatically send. So after you've set something to automatically send on its own, if you go back to the list view in the messages app, you'll see a new button up at the top. And it's just a little folder icon. And this essentially will show you a list of all messages that you have set to send at some point in the future. It'll show you the time that it's set to send. And of course, the contents of the message and the contact that it's sending to. So this message that I just scheduled is set to send to my iPhone 5S over here. So of course, the benefit of this tweak is again, you don't actually have to do anything with your device. So I could just not use my iPhone 6S and it will automatically send. I could just lock my device or I could use my device. That doesn't really matter. So we're just gonna go ahead and wait over here on the iPhone 5S for the message to come in because it's scheduled to send in less than a minute here. I'll just fast forward a little bit and here you go. As you can see, the message does come in just like that. So it's really handy. And of course, if you go back to the messages app, the timestamps in the messages app will confirm that the message was sent at the time that I scheduled it to like that. So super handy tweak. Now, if you go back to the view that shows you your scheduled messages, of course, as you can see there, it already sent, so it just disappears from here. So this is a really handy tweak. Just save yourself you know, for, from forgetting to send someone a message by having it automatically do it on its own. 
And one last thing about Kairos, if you go to the list view that shows you messages that you have scheduled to send, if you just swipe to the left and select delete, that will allow you to cancel a message from being sent. And once again, this week's available in Cydia for $1.99, it's called Kairos. So next up we have round profile pick. There's actually two variations of this tweak. There's one for Twitter and one for Facebook. So if you want to install this tweak, just go ahead and open up Cydia and search for round profile pick, and you will see two options. Again, one for, one for Twitter and one for Facebook. I'm going to demonstrate using the Twitter variant. Variant, but essentially the tweaks do the exact same thing and it's exactly what the name suggests as you see here in the Twitter app all the profile pictures are in a circular shape and this is on your timeline your mentions or when you're looking at someone's individual page again it's basically across the board it works the exact same way of course if you actually tap on someone's picture you can see the full picture but again just from the list views it will remain in a circle format so it, it could just change things up and maybe you prefer that for whatever reason and once again it's available in Cydia for free Next up, we have Twitter notification animation. This essentially provides that cool animation that happens when you're in the Twitter app and you receive a notification just like that. It provides that sort of look to banner notifications in iOS. So now, when I receive any banner, I'm gonna go ahead and text myself for this demonstration. You see there, it has that same animation. So let's just take a closer look at that one more time to show you guys how this looks. Again, it just has that animation when it kind of emerges and goes up to the corner. It could just kind of spice up your experience and, you know, give yourself a better animation, I guess. And once again, that one's available for free as well. It's called Twitter Notification Animation. And that pretty much wraps up this video. So if you guys enjoyed it, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to this channel for many more videos on jailbreak tweaks and pretty much any other videos pertaining to iOS devices. Also make sure to follow the channel on Twitter, like it on Facebook, and also make sure to follow me on Twitter. I'll be sure to put all those links down below in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.